Hi, GI TV. I'm Bob Yanksman Hildebrand here at Hollywood Sports Park's Combat Center in Bellflower, California. Now, in my hands is the Echo One Ohio Ordnance Works M1918 SLR, more commonly referred to as the BAR. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Now the first thing I have to say about this gun is that if you are a collector of World War II era airsoft guns, this is one of the best options on the market for a BAR. And in addition to that, this gun has Ohio Ordnance Works firearms trademarks on here, giving it that extra cool look. Now as far as the body is concerned, this, the body is made out of steel and aluminum. This is fake wood on the hand grip and the stock and this part right here. We also have an adjustable and a, a bipod that is adjustable as well as locking in place. We also have front and rear sling mounts and this gun weighs 14 pounds, making it very hefty, which is rather faithful to the real version of this airsoft gun. Now those are the externals. I'm sure you're wondering how the internals are. Well, right off the bat, you are gonna get a built-in MOSFET with fuse and low resistance wiring. In addition to that, you're gonna get a quick change spring guide system where you're gonna be able to change the FPS of this gun on the fly by using that system as long as you have the aftermarket springs. Now you're gonna be able to change the FPS of this gun which clocks in at 395 feet per second to 405 feet per second. Now the gearbox features eight millimeter bearings as well as a nylon piston and you are gonna get a Mad Bull hop up bucking in this gun pre-installed. Now right out of the package you are gonna get two magazines, a battery and a charger making this a very, very fun package to have for $395 on airsoftgi.com. So once again, if you are in the market for a World War II era gun, I humbly suggest the Echo One Ohio Ordnance Works M1918 SLR, once again commonly referred to as the BAR. Well, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is GITV. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.